It's me, Julie, and the bestie is here. She's finally back in LA. Let's go let her in. happiest person just to be like we were house hunting in New York and now we we both have houses uh, I'm literally 15 minutes from you Clint Eastwood's daughter actually lived here before I got here so no way. she moved on up and you know and then at some point they're gonna be like and Julissa Bermudez yeah. one time lived here I love that From the entrance, you do not expect that this is what you're gonna see. Yeah, well, the first thing that's gonna go is this. This is not, not gonna work for me. Literally, oh, like, this would work perfectly for me. Work for me. <laughs> <laughs> the difference of being tall and being short. Me, look at it, but no problem. No, I, I literally, this is the <laughs> first thing I'm getting rid of because how, why, yeah, yeah, not gonna work. No, love that. That's gonna go. Okay. I, the vibes are changing. Oh, the vibes are completely yeah. changing. Long story short, I needed a chance to sell it all before coming in here because this house, there was like a few other people that were bidding oh, on it. Oh, and I was no. like, I will move in. I will take it. You're like, I'm in. And all of this is about to go online and I'll make some cash on the Exactly. And and get back swipe, some up of my on, payment. swipe up on her Instagram if you want this stunning <laughs> banquet. Is this for me? Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Oh, I just don't want you to hold it for a couple of I'm gonna pull all my stuff down, hold please. I love that. Didn't you so, do that? Yeah, um, I actually can't fit it in the new TV, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. Wait, your new TV is bigger than this? No, no. The height of the. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, because of the crown molding. That makes sense. Yeah, I think it, yes, because yes. Because of the crown molding, you I know. can't fit my fancy TV. Perfect. Instead, you're gonna be like the Friends intro. You can't pay for that song. Oh, that's right. You know the Friends song. This we is, can't sing it because we have to pay. Guys, is this not Soul Friends? Where's our fountain? Seriously. Take it to Central Park. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> Limbo style. Follow me, friend. Oh, I got you, I got you. Oh my gosh, there's two entrances? Yes. This Loves all this architecture. The charm. Oh, what I hello. love is that it mixes it's a, a white Viking That's stove very expensive. with a fly in the house. <laughs> what I love is that it's like a mixture of modern and like the old, the old Hollywood charm of the house. Like this is obviously more of a modern black backsplash. You've got this quartz here. No, this is amazing. All right, this, nice. is, a, this is a big reveal. Oh gosh, let me know. Um, but this is the big, I don't know. I thought I threw this out before you were getting here. Please hold. Okay, this is my friend, Julie. She does not change. She okay. doesn't change. Okay. You know, I have to have my own Camino for the sweat. Oh, you know, I'm giving the guys, full rundown. Back in the day when we were shooting Empire Girls, um, I had a factory that was doing my nail polish line in Amityville. And so I brought Julie with me to the, like literally brought her to the factory with me. And then afterwards, obviously we were filming a reality show, so there was like a break and the crew and everybody had to have lunch. Anyway, we had this restaurant that was directly next to a botanica. Julie goes inside. How do you say botanica in English? Uh, a botanica. A botanica? We were in a botanica? I think that's a spiritual store. I don't know. Uh, went in there because she was getting her Abre Camino candles, and you used to get some other kind. Was there a soap? Was there a... Uh, buena suerte, Abre Camino, that's that. And then, of course, you gotta have sage. I have my Palo Santo somewhere. And it's crazy, you know, how you become your parents, like literally how you... Oh, 100%. Morph into your mom. Like, yeah. when I was younger, my mom used to do Inciencios, which is incense in English, and she would go around the house like this. Yeah. And me and my brothers would hate the yeah. smell of it. And she'll make you go like this. You know, for when I swear that she basically would like bless you, sage you from head to toe, and then send you out to the world. That yeah. is so wild. And now I'm my mom, so, and so I'm gonna burn this. I was raised 
literally like the exact opposite of like being super Pentecostal Latinos. So that's such a great point. Like not all Latinos are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Like some are raised super Catholic and yeah. then they do all of that. And yet like we were like scared to go inside of Botanicas. Like yeah. I can't go in there. I don't want to like. It was mainly the so lady weird. that was like trying to tell us all these things. Listen, I stepped she, through the door. However, and the woman when I walked through the door was like, you. I was like, zeroed in she on her. zeroed and in on me girl. and told me the wildest things that yeah. were so accurate that it actually scared me even more. I was like, oh yeah, them people aren't playing in there. It's the real deal. Don't worry, girl. I got you. They had, they, the she was room. recommending <laughs> soaps to me and all kinds of things. So I this know. will be the Republica headquarters slash oh, guest quarters. You guys will see it when it's actually made over and it is the headquarters of the movie. I love it. Okay, so this is the master. You can't say that. The primary room, the primary room. Oh, is that what it says? <laughs> oh, so this is the primary room. This is so gorgeous though. Yes. Really, this so, is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this fly though. Uh-uh. Keep that in. Keep that in. This right right through there. That it. ratchet skylight. I think it needs a little work. You could just cover up the electric box. Yeah. Of it. No, I want to cover the contraption that allows it to work at that um. amazing pace. <laughs> <laughs> but it does bring nice lighting. Who's that the same for? I don't know, girl. <laughs> That's another episode. <laughs> Primary room. Yes. And, oh, I also have a walk-in closet. Julie has so much clothing. Yeah. It's <laughs> insane. Now I see Fendi. <laughs> Are you anti-TV in the bedroom? Yes. <gasps> Do you believe a TV in the bedroom? I have one. Hi, guys. You guys That's know Liz. this by now. <laughs> guys, fun fact, Liz actually was the one that put together and planned the premiere episode that we did, the premiere oh, that we did with all the bloggers to promote Empire Girls that when it so premiered cool. in a long time ago. Yes. That's not <laughs> I, I, you should know the year though. <laughs> Just put one of them timers. 21 <laughs> minus 9, <laughs> 2000. <laughs> oh, this is really bad. 2012. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Boom. This looks amazing. Do you like the gradation? It's absolutely beautiful. It may seem small to other people, but when it's your first, first thing, and your first product and your first baby. Yeah, you take it to heart, you take it personal. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so good, <laughs> it's so beautiful, it's so perfect. And guys, my favorite thing on this packaging, born in Dominican Republic, made in the USA with pride and passion. Chris, I tried, I literally used it on, on his, his lips. On his lips, he thought it was a lip scrub, and it worked. So okay, I do want your opinion though. Do you like that the box is wasteful? I love that. Like, that's so much it when it comes out. Okay. Yeah. Is this a custom thing? size box or do they come with or is this? No, a custom size box. But that's the thing. Like, that is See, I'm thinking like an entrepreneur yeah. and I'm thinking it's more expensive to do custom size boxes. I would have Well, that's why everything also took so long. It's shipping yes. expensive because it weighs a lot. Exactly. Which I didn't think about that. All I thought about was how can I be in that middle space where you can get a luxury feel feeling product and a lot of it without spending money. That was so considerate of you. But when now, y'all gonna have so much money, but now y'all gonna have to pay for that shipping. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm very much like, oh no, the minute it gets to the shipping, if that thing says it stays in the car. Have you ever seen the meme that says a shirt, $400.50, amazing shipping. $2.90, ah, hell no. no. Like, what is that? We talked about, obviously, the amazing product that you're coming out, but we've talked about this stunning home that you've got. And now, you've got a show! <laughs> I just feel like people have no idea what it takes to even get to being in this industry for over 20 years. Why do you guys say 20? <laughs> nice. Don't be aging me. Okay, so in the process of moving, I found a bunch of stuff. You definitely are more on the side of 40. You're definitely not a minimalist, let's just put it that way. I'm aiming to be that way in this new home. I found my SAG after card, my union card, so you get a card once you've done a certain amount of work in this business. Member since 2005. Mine is like 99. Another thing I found, 
in this process. A whole archive of what? Lisa and Adrian, episode one. How do you have this? I have no idea. We legit shot 10 episodes of a reality show. That is in. That was so different than this show because that was so not reality, by the way. Let's talk about that. What is going to make this show so different? What do you think people are going to learn about you and find out about you from this show? I've been hosting for member since 2005. Exactly. Literally hosting since back then. And I've always told other people's story. I've always had to read prompters and interview. Like, yeah. Not that, and I certainly don't love being interviewed. Really? I don't mind asking the questions all day. I hate when people ask me questions. What? And I just always feel like, oh my God, did I say the wrong thing? Well, that's what this whole show is gonna be. It's gonna be Julie being like, did I say the wrong thing? And we are all gonna love it. There is nothing better than Julie unfiltered. <laughs> oh my god. The pressure. Like, like that should be a whole series within a series. Julie unfiltered. Her unfiltered advice, her unfiltered opinion. Ooh. I'm just saying that would be amazing. Be you and do you because they're gonna say something negative anyway. Like I genuinely like I feel like that's the show. Time, I genuinely like tuna fish and fruit punch. I do. And that's genuinely who I am. So you're gonna have people that are either gonna be fascinated by the crazy things that you do think and say, or they're gonna be haters. I mean, I tweeted that I like to eat my cereal with ice cubes in it and people were No way! Dragging. This fly just isn't It's a ninja fly. On making a cameo. I got it. You did? Yeah. Well done, Liz. Wow. How are you just killing things in my house like that? Hey. <laughs> Here's a warm up. You know, let's when just I say I don't like being interviewed, here we go. What is the craziest thing that you've ever done in your shower? Don't lie, say the truth. Oh don't lie, say the truth. Something you do. Doesn't everybody pee in their shower? Of course. Okay. Everyone has peed in their shower at some point. 100%. That warm water hits your back and the pee is coming out. Oh. <laughs> it happens. I think it's Drunk. gross if you pee in the shower and you also brush your teeth in the shower. Why? You brush your teeth in the shower? I absolutely brush my teeth in You're the shower. You're one of those? I absolutely brush my teeth oh in the shower. Oh my god, I'm one of those too. Yeah. I no! Mean, not only do I brush my teeth in the shower, really? I have a whole little section, like like a dental section in my shower. That is Because the nothing nice grosses one. me out more than that baba going down my chin and the mess that it makes on my sink. I also like to open my tongue to the water while scraping oh. my tongue and then it's just like no. Oh, it's phenomenal. I highly recommend it. Don't front. Do you get toothpaste splashed on your mirror? Yeah, yeah. actually. Exactly. This was yeah. that. The other thing that I love is that we always used to say we wanted to represent Latinas. Mm -hmm. But we always loved the fact that not all Latinas are the same. Like, I love that you always consider yourself Afro Latina. Yeah. I don't ever blame anyone that isn't familiar with the culture yeah. because within our culture, there's just so much. Like even for example, so I always say like Latino. East Coast Latinos are different than like Southeast are so different than different. Midwest Latinos are different than Texas. And I met a Dominican girl that was raised in Seattle. There's Dominicans in Seattle. I have no idea. Oh, no. Comment below if you're a Dominican in Seattle. <laughs> yes. Cheers to you. Mija, where you get your hair done? Are they Botanica in Seattle? Right. <laughs> what do you call them? Okay, it's not just all the Sofia yeah. Vergara accent or the Juno accent or you know whatever it is. We would go on auditions. Like y'all have a paragraph on the script that says what they're looking for. Or and that. Julie would always say, when we say Latina, like what kind of Latina are you doing? Okay, you had three, you had three, can I say it? Wait, what? I don't remember this. Oh my God, okay. We had the same manager at some point. She'd be okay. like, okay, are we talking like, like, hola, yo soy Latina? Or are we talking like, hola, yo I'm soy, Latina. I'm Latina? Or are we talking like, dímelo tato, Latina soy? Like what, like which versions, like are we, is it Latina? Is it Latina or is it Latinx? <laughs> literally, like literally those are the three. But yeah, which one are you? Numero uno, yo soy Latina. Numero dos. Hi, I'm, I'm Latina. Latina. Or are you numero tres, Latinx? I got, I gotta say something though. Finish chewing. What? I really admire you. What? I really do. You never changed who you are to fit the mold of what Hollywood told you Latina was. 
from your accent to the way you look. But a lot of people thought when I was working on my accent that that was me trying to change who I am. I kind of want to say this with all the love in the world. It's still there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think you sound like Julissa, and I think that that sounds amazing. Because at this age, honestly, it's awesome. It is what it is. Yeah. This is me, Julie, and you guys will. You got me seeing you guys. Because it's them. They are the guys. You guys. It's that's how we speak. Everybody, listen. There we go. This is no IFB. No one's in my ear. That's right. No, no one's in my ear. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can't wait for you guys to see more episodes. This girl's amazing. You don't want to miss okay, it. Okay, now go 